Welcome back to another studio update. Um, going to be talking today about progress towards AirPub. Last time I was talking about how I received um, factory patterns from Blimpworks that differed from what I expected. So I've checked those patterns against the patterns I already had, the existing AirPub prototype, and um, then made a new set of CAD plans that I'm working from. So first, I laid out and traced the patterns that I received from Blimpworks um, on the 36-inch paper that I was able to um, scan at the large format scanner I have. Um, I have access to at work. So that gave me um, a digitized version. I also compared the pattern to the existing AirPub prototype um, and was able to determine that the markings I had on the existing balloon patterns were correct. I then made a paper version of AirPub's fin structure um, and taped it onto the new AirPub balloon. Oh, look at that new nose. Looks so good been such a pain in the butt to figure out where things attach given the change in shape of the envelope. I'll, I'll show you this in the CAD plans later, but i um, really happy with the, that nose. So this was a problem with the previous AirPub prototype. Um, the rear wing had was slightly uh, positioned slightly in the wrong place and so it wasn't totally tense. And with this prototype, um, after I assembled it, it was in fact a good thing to notice that I had the exact same problem, which meant I put it in the same place, I put this fin in the same place in relation to the balloon. But I then um, took uh, 7 eighths of an inch off of the rear wing in order to align it more correctly and marked the point on my balloon. So. I'm going to switch into CAD now and I'll show you some of these changes as they relate to the patterns. So this is QCAD, which um, is my preferred CAD program. Uh, it is open source. It handles all the same file formats as, 2D file formats as um, AutoCAD and um, the Pro version only costs $30. So if you need to do 2D CAD, highly recommend QCAD. Um, yeah, so here's the new panel diagram of AirPup's fins, uh, now with all the seam allowances, which were previously not in the CAD um, program. And here is the uh, envelope. Let me show you the difference between this current envelope and the previous one. So the, that smaller line was the pattern that I'd sent to Blimpworks, and the larger line is the pattern I received back. Um, they're quite a bit different. Not only is the one that they created three inches longer, it um, uninflated three inches longer. It also has a different curvature over the whole front half, which caused significant issues in alignment for me, but those are now solved. So yeah, so I made this diagram. It shows the patch locations and the attachments. I then turned those patterns into a collection of alignment patterns. So here's like the tail alignment of where I'm going to put the patch on the tail um, and to attach the fin structure to the tail of the balloon. And so this will be a piece of paper I can use to align and, and find the same point on every pattern. Um, and then this is an alignment a second alignment sheet that'll let me figure out where the um, where the attachment points go um, for the front of the air pup wing, and uh, I did a similar series of pi panel diagrams for um, the seam allowance panels of the rear fin. So that is the process thus far. I'm now at the point where I need to start sewing again and cutting the full-size panels. If this prototype works out, 
the CAD files that I've already created will allow me to make hard panels out of plywood that I can quickly trace for the mass produced version. So that's where I'm at. Uh, my next stage is not going to be a full scale sewing. I'm first going to sew another seam prototype based on the CAD diagrams I made because there are some slight changes to how I arranged everything um, from this initial version that I was going to sew the full size prototype from to the um, current version, um, especially around the front of these pockets and how I assemble those. So anyway, I'm going to give that another shot and then go to full scale construction. But I'm happy to be at a point where I've uh, resolved the manufacturing issues around the alignment of the new um, balloon envelope with its new nose shape to uh, the same locations that were on the previous balloon envelope and previous nose shape. And um, I am ready to get sewing and gosh, hopefully flying again. I should also mention, in addition to the pattern work, I did a whole bunch of studio uh, renovations. So I built these large shelves into my uh, studio ceiling. So now, like up at the top layer, I've got all sorts of storage that I can pull stuff on and off of. There you can see some of the patterns I was just showing you uh, in pictures. And so I, I built this large series of what are garage shelves, uh, kind of like above the ceiling. And then uh, rearranged my sewing cart so it's more effective. And my project cart so that AirPup just has like its own cart of stuff. Um, yeah. So I'm really hoping that this new arrangement will get, well, I know this new arrangement gives me more space. So I'm excited to get working with it. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching and look forward to my next update um, with some more exciting uh, constructions. Thanks.